with everything in the news. 16, 8 on the go, let's stay on it, stay on it. He is going to be facing a lot of issues. What are you doing, man? Shut the f*** up, man! Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Dear Heavenly Father, be proud, whether it is our opinions, beliefs, on racism, the Confederate flag... Put you in the back. You race your way to the front. Fire up. You never know when something can go wrong. Oh no, man. Oh no. Racing is a dangerous sport. These mom and dad aren't rich. He's a little rich, mother. Dad, stop. You gotta be good enough. Fast enough. That race, it don't matter what color you are. That death factor has got to be in that man's head. Hey, where's your national championship trophy at? This is where it all started. I started racing here when I was about seven years old. First time out here, I stuffed it right into that wall, nose first. Oh. Uh oh. He ran into the wall, so I was a little nervous. Worst first day you could ever have in a race car. I just thought he did two laps and his racing career was over. I'm a football coach, I didn't know anything about cars. I can't change the oil in my car to this day, but it is something that he was gonna have to do. Sitting here over the last few hours, we've done 279 laps. Racing is really a three-part equation. It's the driver, it's the car, and it's the crew chief. I'm the good looking one. Sort of left Bob in a hard spot right there. Brand new car and his kids made one lap in it and they paid all the money and everything for it. And there ain't no refunds on cars. You know, he took us under his wing. I think he kind of felt bad for us. 750 pounds, heavy. Yeah. Leroy is definitely the crazy mad scientist. I have trouble throwing away things because I say I may need it. Physically, they say I shouldn't be able to do what I do. I've broken more bones than I can remember. With my loose hypermobility, I end up pulling them out of pocket. Yeah, hey, don't let it stop me. All right, go. For me, this is a all day, all night commitment. He cuts grass to go race. He sold his own personal car because he wanted to go racing. We're gonna run it out now. I've tried other things and Nothing's felt as natural, come as easily, made more sense as racing's been. Whenever you're ready, you're fired up, we roll them off. My daddy was a great driver. Right before daddy had passed away, he watched us. He says, he's too tight. You got a good driver, he runs good and fast, but you gotta free him up. I think we can stand to loosen it up a little bit more. From that day forward, we just kept making Hayden drive a looser and looser car. Loose loose when you are loose, you are fast. Loose is that point before you start drifting and sliding tires. Your ass end's trying to come around and pass your front end. Really fast. It was almost like it was destiny. He just was almost like a prodigy at an early age. Racing is a dangerous sport. That death factor has got to be in that man's head. Now Hayden, I honestly believe he doesn't think about that factor at all. I think we're going to have a really good car. It's good to know we have a great team to support us along the way. You know, he's 18, but sometimes I think he acts like he's 30, you know, the way he talks and stuff. But he's always been like that, even as a kid. guys that you see on TV, he's raced against them and he's beat them. The only thing holding him back is that, you know, his mom and dad aren't rich. There's probably times that he could, he could have went for wins and, uh, you know, he, he chose not to because of the reality that he wanted to save the race car. 
Motorsports in general is a money-driven sport. Your performance, unlike any other sport, is heavily, heavily, heavily impacted by resources you have access to. But he races on less dollars than anybody he's racing against, and he's done it all his life. In the last three or four years, we just didn't have the cars that our competitors had. I think he went nine races in 2018, and I think he had nine mechanical failures. Stuff that he's done with his equipment, not many people could do. There's not many people that could drive the cars that he's driven and still compete. It's sometimes disheartening to see that the best driver doesn't always get the best opportunities. I'm gonna be doing some cold calls. Everybody always tells me you're gonna get a thousand no's before you get your first yes. You know, not having gotten that first yes yet, it is kind of discouraging just to hear no, no, I'm sorry, we don't do this type of thing. Everyone tell you, you don't fit our criteria. Not a one person is gonna tell you, I'm not sponsoring you because you're black. This track we're going to, Franklin County, it has developed a little bit of a reputation of being like a secluded track. I don't talk about it a lot with Hayden unless he comes to me. I don't want to discourage him because, you know, this is what he loves to do. With everything in the news, he is going to be facing a lot of issues that we have to start talking about. You just need to look up the story of Wendell Scott. You'd have somebody draw the ace of spades, which means their job was during practice to go hit him and knock him out and put him out of the race. They draw the ace of spades on Wendell Scott at a mini track. I hope for the best in this situation. I don't want to be you know, treated differently for whatever reason. This is just country, man. This is backwoods guys, and these are grown men. These are guys, they don't like something you did to them on Saturday night. They're not gonna handle it the way the people at Charlotte and Atlanta handle it. You know, qualifying right off the bat, it was a little stressful. With past races, he would have to draw a number where they're gonna start. If there's 26 cars in the race, they always say, okay, you're 26. Week after week after week, he's starting last. I always tell him, you know, God gave you this talent for a reason. They're gonna put you in the back. You race your way to the front. Man, I'm impressed. We got a rocket ship. We were fast, fast enough to tie for with our teammate for the pole. Couldn't ask for anything more out of the qualifying run. Car was great. You looked fast, dude. The 12 car is one of these guys, right? Yeah, he's one of the, the last three races in a row. Right? You were coming on him, bro. Super excited with how it went. You know, we made a few adjustments, loosened up the car throughout the day, and it, it paid off. We were definitely one of the fastest cars on the track. All right, we got our yeah. driver's lead. Yeah. We got our driver's lead in just a few minutes. So. All right. Before we knew it, it was a torrential downpour, and I'm thinking to myself, we've worked too hard and get rained out. I was hoping for just a quick shower, but you know, it's, it's coming down really hard right now. The odds are definitely stacked against this race happening and finishing up today. I gotta take a quick second to shout out to fan at Old Spice for sponsoring this show. I got my Old Spice clinical sweat defense with 73 hour sweat protection. I'm smelling ready for anything. And that man Hayden Swank, he's ready for anything. So y'all better stay locked in, all right? I have your attention, please. Stock four drivers, return to your cars. We will resume this race. I was so relieved to hear that. It was, it was so great to know that we were going to get to race that weekend. Same goal. We just moved everything back about an hour. I'm glad you're not nervous, buddy. Please. Well, it's because he's got this. I know. I was definitely nervous. Yeah, it is. It's happening. 
Talk about it getting good here at Franklin County. Finish button. Look here. Yeah. You got me? Yeah. You got this. Yeah. Ah. At that point, it was all racing. Green flag is about to wave. Here we go, buddy. This is it. Green, green. We are underway. Hayden Swank, keep an eye on him at number four car. Second lap, two cars got together and they were all spinning and piling up right in front of me. We didn't hit anything in the process, so that was the best case scenario. Good job, good job. Stop taking care of the car. That's the number one thing. We are resetting the field and we are starting over. I'm not here to win them over. I'm just here to win. Green, 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 green. Everybody's rolling. Clear outside. You know, they love you or hate you, they know you're there. And Swank now trying to close in on the 17, the keys machine. You make them take notice. Oh, no. Keys about to get some company from Swank to the inside. Once we got caught up to the leaders, we were on their bumper. Be there, Ford! Come on, be there! Get in it! Get in it! That's what you did. sudden coming out of the turn I just don't have any power there's no tension in my gas pedal Getting lost on a dark night. he was in the gunfight of a top three run what a tough break for number four something a miss on his ride and he is done growing on just to realize I don't understand sympathize Sympathize my soul. I hope I'm finding the real thing. I can hold in my hands when believing in God. Third, hey, you had them. Son, you drove me. Guts out. I got dude that drove eight hours to race today. You get absolutely by the 12 car, race control, and everybody else here. It's all right. Nobody lining people up. You got a lot of stupid stuff. Oh, you're good out by that. I think it's really easy to get caught up on the result. But I doubt you prove you can run with them and outrun them. You impressed me a ton, I'll tell you that. We'll just go to the next one. That's all there is to it. The kind of racing that Hayden's doing, there's really not any of that going on in Georgia right now. It's gonna mean early mornings and a lot of late nights. We're heading off to Southern National Motorsports Park. This is a big time track. We're waking up early. We're gonna get a little bit extra practice. We pull into the track. It starts raining hard. I mean, completely pouring. Seven hours and not one drop of rain, and we show up, and here it is. He just needed to get some laps in that race car. They just told us practice is canceled. I had to fire up the truck to get some air conditioning going while we're sitting through the rain. Flip the key over, and nothing happened. We got pouring down rain, and the car doesn't work. Jeez. I'm a lot less confident than I was at the start of the day. He's done. I hope that we're able to turn it around tomorrow. This sucks. 
It's race day. We were hoping to have all of our problems worked out yesterday, but we're going to have to hit a few more sessions. That's got a tire or something because he's down about two or three tenths from what he was running in practice. The car is not handling the way I'd like it to. We'll see if we tighten him up a little bit. We're just getting slower, and it is scorching. We're playing 125, 130 inside the car. I made the mistake of leaving Hayden in that car for probably an hour and a half. Try to push water down. You'll get dehydrated pretty quick. Between practices, you have to get out of the car. I know. This is my third bottle. When that throttle cable broke at Franklin. Oh, problem. Swing's car with an issue. Put a lot more pressure on today. I'm out of money. No, I've exhausted every possible resource that I personally have. Right now, I don't have any leads on any sponsors. Hey, Brian, this is Hayden Swank. I have a few more things that I've kind of materialized. The hose hooks are here. It pulls ambient air through the helmet. That's $199.95. Sorry to hear that we're not going to make something happen today, but that's a little bit outside my price range. All the struggles and the frustrations we've had this weekend, none of that matters now. It's go time. Go, 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 go. Dig hard, dig hard, dig hard. Give me all you got here, brother. I'm trying my ass off, man. It's starting to get drained a little bit. It was really a big mistake by me to let him sit in that car for an hour and a half. Obviously, that's a lesson learned. Hayden's there getting experience, but we all got experience that day. When you start getting dehydrated, it messes with your head, and you start, you know, getting groggy and even having hallucinations at that level. The likelihood of being being able to continue this season are rapidly diminishing. Damn. You know, I want to get as many races as I can this year, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. Heading over to Leroy's house. I fixed the bando up. We're going to work on it a good bit. Um, just hopefully get it ready for another driver, maybe sell it. This is Hayden's old car. Uh, this is the Bandolero that we won the national championship with. All right? Yep. You like it? I love it. My daddy was a great driver. As a little kid, I would sneak into the racetrack. In the older days, when they wouldn't let in anybody that was not 18 years of age in the pit, so I would hide in the bottom of the toolbox if I had to. I feel like that some of the moves that I see Hayden make, that's my daddy helping him steer around this. You remember that day we went and done a practice session up there? And it was just me and you and my daddy and mama drove up. Then you turned the shocks the wrong way, so you kept loosening me <laughs> up. And I spun out, and then you went to go fix it again. You did it two or three <laughs> different times. You know, left and right, sometimes I get mixed up. That was the last race my daddy ever got to see. Yeah. Was you. When he passed away, Unfortunately, got in financial trouble, and I sold my daddy's 38 Ford race car for parts to somebody up from Charlotte for the museum. Daddy never had the money, but he would see things before they happened. Hayden has just a natural knack. It's just something there, and I can see my daddy's driving still in the boat. be ready to go do college. I think I'm gonna miss home a little bit. I was able to get an academic scholarship. If I didn't have that scholarship from the state, you know, I'd probably not be able to race really at all. It also increases the pressure a little bit to make sure I keep my grades in good standing. School just kind of sucks like incredibly badly right now. Really just like, we, we don't feel like we do anything. We sit in the room all day. This is like quarantine life for us at Georgia. There's not a whole lot to do. Oh, 
We know we have to make some sacrifices, but like we know what we're missing out on and it's like frustrating. You know, my friends know I race, but I don't think they really get why I do it. You know, no one's to what you do, but like I always seen racing as, you know, kind of like, kind of racist. It's just like a thing that wasn't meant for me. Like it was never meant for me to consume. It's, you know, frustrating. Black people aren't inherently interested in NASCAR. That's a very common assumption. The argument has always been, keep politics out of my sport. But the thing is, the politics were always a part of the sport. It's a certain type of politics that's ruled this sport, and it's, you know, deterred a lot of people. My school is all black. No one was talking about NASCAR. We like basketball and football, because we feel like we're accepted in those, like, areas. And there's, like, a lot of overlap between, like, NASCAR culture and black culture when it comes to cars. If NASCAR is perceived to be more accessible to black people, and you can see a lot more like black fans, you can see like a lot more black drivers. We've got some work to do for sure. We're back at Southern National. Last time we were out here, we had a lot of issues. So it's imperative we get a podium finish this weekend. We all know how crucial qualifying is. That's gonna set your starting place. And if you're starting in the front half of the field, you got a lot better shot than if you're starting in the back half of the field. All right, go get it, buddy. Stay on it, come to the white. All right, smooth, stay on it, you'll catch it. The, uh, the field caught us in qualifying. Right now he qualified eighth out of 12. He's got to go out and race now. This could have been it. This was possibly my shot. You're starting eighth place. Jesus Christ. Crap, I'm on the outside too. It, it, it don't matter. What? It doesn't matter. You'll just race your way back. You've done it all your life. As a family, we really don't know what's next. Uh, Hayden's digging and digging and digging for sponsors. And we're praying that it's coming. Right now, we don't know that it's coming and we don't know where it's coming from. You know, the thought has crept in my mind. This might be the end of my racing career. You know, I might not be able to hop in a car for a long time and trying to do everything in my power to make sure that this isn't the end. I gotta take a quick second to shout out to fam at Old Spice for sponsoring this show. I got my Old Spice clinical sweat defense with 73 hour sweat protection. I'm smelling ready for anything. And that man Hayden Swank, he's ready for anything. So y'all better stay locked in, all right? Me and you, go get him. Just be smart here, be on your toes. Coming your way right now on the Speedway from Southern National Motorsports Park. Late model stock cars getting lined up on the front stretch. Go well, grab some, man. Come on. Get ready. Ready. Green, 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 green. Body rolling. Still outside. Outside. Right through it. Hey, come on. Green flag drop. You know, I was all over the guy in front of me. I was like racing for everything I could. As the run went along, I started to notice we got slower and slower, and I was really having to work to pass these cars. And eventually, I got the best of myself. Oh, there's trouble there at the middle of the back stretch. In that moment, I was like, okay, I'm going to crash the car. Today. No caution, no caution, keep digging. And not quite sure, but Hayden's right back in it. He was way loose off of turn four. Lost a ton of time. Man, we've never been afraid of him racing ever. Only concern I ever have is I pray to God there's never fire in his car. Here we go. Jeremy Bone, Hayden Swank right there, nowhere to go in that tech racing number four car. All of a sudden, the whole thing just gave way. Oh, Hayden Swank absolutely goes up in smoke. And Hayden Swank is absolutely grenaded. Do I get out? Do I get out? Do I get out? So much smoke, I couldn't see anything. I hear like Micah Thomas in my radio telling me something about a fire. Yeah, all right, make sure it ain't on fire. 
My first instinct was like, get out of the car. Might be a little bit of fire in there. That's what I was wondering about, Kevin. You see a lot of smoke. Quickly climbs out of that four car. I gotta believe the way that car went up, something happened to Hayden Swank's engine. Super quick to get out of the car. Really proud of them. We're done for the day. Our day is done. You know, we're gonna miss out on the second race. Damn, dude. This was our week to really make something happen, but you know, it just wasn't meant to be. I'll tell you what, this is the worst feeling in the world. Watching a race you know you should be in, like, sucks. Green flag is back in the air. Once again, It's all good. Flex plate broke, so that was what it was. That flex plate was causing a lot of friction with the clutch. That's why we kept getting slower and slower. I'm really bummed because I feel like if the flex plate, you know, just held strong all weekend long, we really could have been on the podium without question. What? You know, I get a text from Larry and I was like really shocked to get a text from him. You know, he's probably one of the faces of overtimes and he tells me to, you know, hop on a Zoom call and I was like, oh, okay. My guy, what's going on? Hayden, how you doing? You're probably wondering why I'm hitting you up. I know that you're up in heaven and you're watching down. I just always want to tell you how well Hayden's been doing. It's your dream to race NASCAR, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the goal. I want to race on Sundays. <laughs> All right, so we want to help you make it a reality. So get ready to start that big O on your car. You're part of the squad right now. We're going to sponsor you and make your dream come true. They don't need me as much anymore. He's getting in the big time. You are an inspiration to me, to, to kids of color, to just so many people out there in the world. Oh my gosh. Things happened and didn't quite make it, but daddy, we're gonna be there. I'm gonna get to go to the big show with Hayden. And I know you're gonna succeed because you got that heart. You deserve it, that's all it is. Work hard, you deserve opportunities and you deserve blessings, so. Here it is, man. I'll see you in heaven one day. I've made like so many sacrifices over the last year and a half, two years, just like, oh my gosh, like it, it's all paying off now, it's finally happening. Like for real, I'll be able to really go out there and compete, hopefully stick it to these guys. Man, this is so cool. We got a bunch of black cars together, you had to pick them out, but we won't have no problem finding this one. This is like what I've dreamed of. It's honestly better than anything like I could have ever imagined. It's a lot smaller clutch than you had in the other car. Biggest thing is gonna be don't ride it. The one that's got the red cover on it, that's your ignition. I opened up my Instagram and I shot from like 200 some odd followers to close to 11,000 overnight. Overtime is all in on me. It's insane. This is the start of something big. I hope this isn't too much green. Now let me tell you, in our day, in my time, we didn't want a green car on the racetrack. It's bad luck. The green is superstitious. Green on a race car is bad. I don't like any green, and Mike did, like, not way less green than this. He had, like, the bottom trimmed in green and, like, some green numbers. And, uh, I think, what, second race in, we knocked the roof off of it. If a car showed up that was green, you'd have somebody drill tear your car up. Last week was my fault because I had the green. Might be a little bit of fire in there. Oh, the green cast. 
we have these old superstitions. No peanuts in the race. race. Yeah, Nowhere in the pits. Just. Yeah, I thought you had an allergy. I just assumed like... <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a... It is! Whoa, problem. Swank's car with an issue. Back straight away. Hayden's car, when it broke, Thomas was so mad and upset with everything's going in. He went in the trailer. Somebody had brought a pack of peanuts in that trailer. You never, ever had peanuts at a racetrack. They're bad luck. That's <laughs> enough of that talk. Like, I, yeah. I, I think we're under the 50% green ratio. Well, I hope we can turn the luck around. <laughs> never been huge into posting on social media. I see other racers do it, I see my friends do it, but it's just never been for me. But now that I have like 11,000 people following me, I'm thinking to myself like, okay, you know, I probably need to get serious about this now. Obviously, I've done a little bit of research on you and some of your social profiles. What do you know about TikTok? I'm so confused. TikTok skews a little bit younger. This is not happening. That's a big piece of the pie for you. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Yes. There's no way. But you also want to gain fans in that demographic right now because that's who's going to follow you. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to talk to you about is to not be afraid to take risks on social media. More shoulders. Yeah, you were just like... I've just kind of been like a little intimidated by it. Not allowed. You'll see that the app is more fun. Uh, I don't know. Dance! And more engaging. That's literally I think it. Are you 19 right now and can appeal to the younger demographic? Something like this. Let's get it from your dad. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll be you know, on the up and up uh, here before too long. <laughs> what? Oh, my <laughs> I'm so Let's hope dad doesn't walk in. Orange County Speedway. This is going to be our first race in the OT car. It's kind of known to be a tough track, but a lot of drivers really like it. It's a low grip. When there's not a lot of grip on the track, that means that the driver, you know, kind of has to clutch up and drive a loose race car. This track is high speed, high energy. This looks amazing. Wow. I can't wait to see it under the lights. Yeah, I know. I think it's all hot tonight. This doesn't look anything like anything I've ever seen at a racetrack in 11 years. To a traditional racer, I don't know that they're going to love the new and different. I like this ride. Sharp looking. Damn thing turned out. Damn good. I know. He's done a great job. I know. There's already been folks coming by to check it out and check in with Hayden and see what's going on with it. Good day, man. Yeah, you should. try to stay out of trouble. I'm just going to follow you. you tell me how to I might be following you. All right. That's my hot rod, so. It ought to be good down here. It ought to be good down here. The one person I have taken notice of so far is Dylan. Pretty much everywhere he goes, he is a threat to win. He's one of the fastest guys out there. Hey, Dylan. Good luck out there today, man. Yep. The Chrome car that's been winning everywhere. Dylan? From Southern National? Yeah. Oh, really? I guess it's been 11, 12 years. Yeah. And we're finally getting to see that dream. This is my dream coming true, too. Aiden's give me renewal. It give me confidence to get back and do things. I feel like sometimes I'm in the way, but you know, sometimes they need that old man instead of that teller. I, I, I feel the same way sometimes. It's been a blessing to me. We thought the season was over and we were looking for how we were gonna race next season. I tried not to cry. Now it's time to get that car out on the track and see what it can do. Got a hot rod, go get him. You know, it was crazy fast. Oh. Qualifying is going to be really important today. There's a good amount of cars here, so starting near the front is going to be important. Smart, brother. You got a good piece. Go get it.
smoked them. You did your job. I'm proud of you. Hell of a job, buddy. Hell yeah! Thank you all so much! Fastest car on the track. I was on another level, like excitement-wise. I was just so happy that it worked out the way we wanted it to. No time! Oh! Yes, sir! Now, I just have to get the finish. My guy, congrats on the new show. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, I can take you for a spin in if you want. Well, well we're gonna go like 50 miles per hour or something? Double that, at least. In here. Don't want you stinking up my car. Bro, now I smell ready for anything. I feel like the expectations and the pressure for this race are the highest they've been all season. I really, really, really gotta be on my game if I wanna beat these guys because you know they have the experience and they have the advantage, but hopefully I can use my skill, what I've learned today, to you know get ahead of them. All right? Yeah. Hold on. This is man your worst part. We can't we're not real patient about waiting on. Yeah, I know. I, I wish we could just hop in the car and get, <laughs> get going. Top three tonight. I'll probably try to do a flip or something. Hopefully we're just faster than everybody. My goal is to just use that fast car to my advantage. They can't wreck me if they can't catch me. We'll just stay out of their way here. I'm nervous. <laughs> I am too. Overtime viewers and crew, thank you. Mom, Dad, I love you. Man, this is it. Ready? Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink second place car was able to get a jump on me and right off the bat he started to pull away. I can't let him get too big of a lead on me. He's gonna get there. Thomas is in my ear. You can pick it up, Andy. Start picking it back up. Dylan was just gaining on us pretty quick. Take care of it. I don't need quite so much. Our car's too strong and it's not going to work for us. I do this and I do this right and I win this race, then I really prove that I was meant to be here. Come on! If I can just get ahead of them right here, we should be able to seal the deal. Down here, inside, inside. Spoiler alert, they can catch me. Get them to him! Oh he man. Spins him out in turns one and two. And they did wreck me. Austin Purnell just barely missed the front end. That's not fair at all, but that's how racing works. Right now, we're in last place with four laps to go, and I'm gonna have to make some really gutsy moves to get us back on this podium. Come on, man, get back up in there. Well, I know Hayden's a young guy and he's probably disappointed, but he's gonna have to be patient even though the laps are running out. Don't wanna do nothing to him now. Right now. Killing Newsom, he's got a sizable lead over Brent Evans Jr. Right now. Hey, get up there, let's go. But unfortunately, I ran out of time to get to the top three. Dylan Newsom wins the Choice Automotive Charger feature. 
Hayden Swank's going to have to settle for fourth. Didn't even get a podium finish. I think everybody just really had their heart set on a win. I feel like I let them down. Dylan Newsom, first win at Orange County Speedway, comes in first. And he getting out the car, smiling. Don't get him. If you don't, I will. <laughs>I know how you like tend to be nice or think that it's your fault. You had enough room to pass. He couldn't make the pass, and he drove through you. That's bottom line. It's not okay. After the race, Dylan came up, and he tried to apologize a little bit. He didn't really admit it was his fault. I felt like I was on the damn bottom. I got it on video, but I'm about a thousand percent sure I was down. Dude, I, thought, I, I swear I gave you enough room, like, are, like, I know it's bumpy now. Is there a bump or something? No, I, I didn't slide up. I didn't slide. I'll wait on the brake trying to make sure I didn't. Inside. 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 Hold on to it. Hold on to it. I wanted to race to the end. Yeah, I, no. I don't want anything to happen. Yeah, I was ready to race. I just... I thought I was clear, man. I, I, I felt like I was up, like, at least the lane. The car's still in one piece, and, you know, we have a race next week, and it's just not worth getting into it right now. All right, man. Keep it down there next time. Stay there. We can argue, we can fight, but that's not going to change the outcome of this race. I really want to be on your crew team just to fight people someday. All right. My dad's been coaching football for about 25 years now. We have not played a game yet this year. We haven't scrimmaged anybody this year. We have better athletes than this team. The only question is, will you get off the bus Friday afternoon and hit? When he's coaching football, he is like a full-on drill sergeant. Don't pick some ninth grader and hop out here and think you're going to impress us. Full speed to the ground. <laughs> Got the feet. Do it again. Hey, man, you guys got to decide if you want to play football or not. I never felt like any pressure to play like a stick and ball sport. Let's be honest, it was not my thing. Like, it wasn't happening. When I used to race at Land Motor Speedway, like there was a good amount of people that didn't know my dad was actually my dad, even though I referred to him as dad, like all the time. Let me introduce these guys. This is Coach Alexander, Coach Freeman. Just the straight like confusion, like they're trying to figure it out. He'll get there. Give him a minute. There it is, yep, he figured it out. Who do you think I'm bringing up here? <laughs> I feel like everybody's kind of taken aback a little bit. Not in like a bad way, they just, they just didn't see it coming. If we got 11 that'll hit, that's all we need. I think he's less concerned with what I'm doing, more concerned with the fact that like, am I trying to be the best and am I really like giving it everything I have? So I guess we gotta get up early tomorrow and start cranking. Every time I go to a new racetrack, I usually get on YouTube, watch a few videos. This race is gonna be our toughest yet. Hey man, this weekend, like kind of corresponding with Thomas today. Yeah. I know, you, I know you're gonna go there and kick butt and do your best, but he's right, this is a huge step up in class. You're going to a NASCAR track and racing in their top level. Dang, that's a lot of damage. This is gonna be the highest level of NASCAR racing that we've done so far. Practice went really, really, really poorly. Where the car is at right there, it's kind of a flat track deal. You want a really good turning car, mm -hmm. but if you get in too deep, 
It's going to punish you. You're going really fast entering this corners, and if you were to wipe out and like pound that wall, I mean, that would hurt a lot and do a ton of damage to the car. You got to see where we're at and how much we're wearing down. So, I'll come underneath. Between Leroy snoring and my allergies, I barely got any sleep last night. Had a little bit of a vibration. We found where he had a big chunk of rubber in the back side, so got that taken care of. Let me check everything up front. And, uh... I'm really tired out here today. Um, I know it's going to be a long day, a lot, of, a lot of laps, a lot of racing. Uh, you done down there? My guy, congrats on the new show. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, I can take you for a spin in if you want. Well, we're we gonna go like 50 miles per hour or something? Double that, at least. In here. Don't want you stinking up my car. Bro, now I smell ready for anything. We got a little bit of time before qualifying, and I'm just really feeling the pressure. Oh, hey, man. That's good, bro. Not much. You were fast out there. Yeah. I actually met Raja through iRacing. He's like really big on there. He's done a lot of stuff. You know, we got overtime, you know, backing us for the rest of the season. Nice. They, they Shout out overtime. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> yeah, no, no, get those, get those. This is sweet, though. I like it. Pretty dang good. It's cool to see another black driver out there, you know, trying to make it. For me, when I grew up in DC, like, you know, the rec center was two blocks down the street, and I would go play basketball like every day after school and yeah. you don't really have that with racetracks that's not really good or bad that's just like how it is people like us didn't really grow up around this per se you had to have connections and you know and, yeah. and uh, an outlet to be able to even go to a racetrack I feel like that's been our main issue is you know just reaching people you know what I mean people like you know you haven't been like given a, a reason to watch obviously we're doing stuff and you know yeah. Bubba's doing stuff and, and Lewis and getting people interested in racing and so I think Definitely, it's only for the better. Word from the tower is we are ready for qualifying. It's qualifying time. It's been a good talk. I'm not gonna cut you any slack today. Like zero, I'm sorry. Hey, say no more. Yeah. Say no more, bro. Fill it out, this is your body lap. Go get it. 19 seconds right here, and I'm gonna make every one of them count. It's gonna be a perfect lap. Hard, bring it hard right here, brother, you got it. Good job, brother. Good job. Woo! That was like the best possible lap we could have run. We ran the fastest time, man. We really seen anybody run all week. Uh, we were first in qualifying, but we're still on the pole right now. I was like, oh my gosh, man. Like, this is it. I'm excited. This is awesome. I cannot imagine this happening. This is the closest track to Athens, so I wanted to invite everybody that I could. The middle eight cars are like so evenly matched. Like, it's going to be like a real fight. Cars so much yeah. Seeing everybody there and knowing that they're behind me, um, it was really cool. It's a perfect fit for Lily. Lily could fit in there. Yeah, right? you could fit in. Yeah. I'm, I'm, for this I'm not sport. sure you can see over the dash, but you can fit in. <laughs> I'm like so full of energy. Like I'm like hopping to the car. I'm like ready to go. All right, let's get it. See you in 30 laps. All right. This is our night, and I, I, I can just feel it. I'm so ready to go right now. They came to start. Green, 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 green. Inside, inside, driving inside. Oh, he turned the baby. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Lock it down, all right. Good job, good job. Take your time, caution's out. I'm working on the car in front of me, but the car I just passed had other plans. He just flat out spun us out. Did you see that? I wish I could say I was surprised, but at the end of the day, I wasn't. I've I raced with this kid about like six or seven times, and I can't name one time where I didn't have any sort of contact or get wrecked by this guy. Cars that were involved will have to fall to the tail of the field. He's clear, he can go. We got our show here tonight, boys. I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna track him down and I'm gonna go get this lead. And we got a lot of work to do to get back to the front. Green, 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 green. Follow the hole, 
I've worked my way through most of the pack. Now it's time to work on the leaders. But it all went south in a heartbeat. Okay, just stay right there. Stay right there, they're coming to you. Looks like he's hurt. Okay, talk to me here for a minute. Idiots we race with. Did you see who did it? I didn't see who did it. We put down the fastest lap of the race. I was just so pissed. Like, what happened with the wreck? I don't even know what happened. What happened? We're 28 or 10? 10. This is two weeks in a row now. You drive that 10 car? No, well, okay. Right here, you're coming this way. I just wanted to talk with him. What are you doing, man? Shut the f up, man! You drove right through his ass! I feel like I'm at my breaking point. I don't even know what happened. Drove straight through me. Passed him clean. We never touched him. He just rams right into the ass end of it. You drive that same car? No, uh, he's a little guy. But he lifted your wheels up off the ground, didn't he? Getting off in the Yeah, corner. he just never stopped. What are you doing, man? Dude! You drove right through his ass! You are your son don't know how to drive. Don't get right 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 I jumped it, piece of Mark my words. I was warned coming out here South Carolina that these boys is a little rough and we found that tonight. Kid trying to say that Hayden did something wrong. He's a little rich motherfucker with a fast car that don't know how to drive. We got a toy race car and I hate it for Hayden. On lap 11 of the race, we laid down the fastest lap overall for the whole race. So that's it for the night now. Yeah, I'm done, man. I'm... Yeah, sorry about that, man. I'm sorry, buddy. I feel like I'm just been bad luck to you. It just gets discouraged when you see somebody else just take it away from you every time. He's going to go out and get the race this next race, and you're not. Bad luck continues. We got to get this monkey off her back. It is seriously, seriously taking a toll on me. You know, I've been studying, I've been working, you know, all hours of the day and night, and I got to keep my grades at a certain average in order to keep my scholarship. And right now, it's not looking too pretty. I'm missing meals, I'm skipping meals, I'm not eating, I'm not sleeping. You know, I think my parents, my family are getting really, really worried. start passing some tests on and off the track. I'm really starting to question whether I am meant to be here or not. <sighs> the 
Greenville really did a number on us. I mean, this car is destroyed. You know, essentially had to cut the back half of the car off. We had a pretty extensive week. We were out here several nights putting it together till, you know, 12, 1 in the morning. I'm out here at the shop, you know, trying to help in any way I can. You see where it kind of just pushed just, it all over? Yeah. F***ing it up right there. And then I get a call from Larry. Hey, then, what's up, big bro? How you doing? I don't know, man. I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to get the car fixed after this last race. Well, let me brighten your day. I got some big news for you. I've been talking to Old Spice about working with us. I mean, this is huge news. I mean, Old Spice is such a huge company that can elevate our program to another level. I really want to have them in my corner. But Next level. That's what we on, bro. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to work my magic, and I'll keep you posted, all right? So I'm going to have to go out there and prove that I deserve that sponsorship. The good news is we got it back together. It's been a rough few weeks for Hayden and stuff. I'd like to see him, see him finish it out and have a good, clean weekend and, you know, kind of... Get the momentum back going on our side. Ray did the frame there. Yeah, they pulled the body off yeah. and then cut the back half of the, or the back part of the car off. Like they literally had to remake half of the car in a week. I, I was not optimistic about it. I have no idea how they did it, but I am so thankful they did. Ready to go to battle again this weekend. These last few weeks, I have just really been struggling with all the pressure, you know, just the lack of sleep, the lack of like focus just really got to me last week. I have overtime, I have a lot of eyes on me. I've been getting a lot of haters and a lot of people have been, you know, kind of dissing on me and, you know, I, I just can't figure out why. Madison! There we go. At first I was like, oh, maybe I can do this and this to like win people over, but I was like, I started to look at it as like, especially with Bubba, like it doesn't matter what he did before or after, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. So, you know, I'm gonna just, you know, I might as well just be me. Before we go any further, let's start with a prayer. If Dennis is not here, Daryl, could you have a prayer, please? Bow heads. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, like thank you for this day. Like thank you for this crowd. We ask that you keep us safe here. We ask that you keep the virus out of here. The thing I don't understand, I mean, I understand it, right? They have so much more in common with you. Like, you came from, like, you know, two die-hard working parents. Try to work with me. Stuff ain't designed to see it for three or four months. And when we go vote here in a little bit, I'd love to... The people just kept North Carolina shut down. They need to go. We gotta do better, we gotta do better as a country. We gotta stand up for what's right and wrong. The amount of effort you put into this, like, it is much closer to them than they are to some of these, like, top, uber-wealthy parents. I envision that one day NASCAR can be, like, that kind of, like, mm -hmm. Think that can unify, like, you know, like, like right. working class. NASCAR, when it started, it was not, like, the drivers were not, like, the wealthy, you know, aristocrat type you see these days. I'm just like everybody else, just trying to make it, and they don't respect the drive that I have. Go time? Yes. Oh. You know, it's qualifying time. Orange County has the no-nonsense qualifying. Everybody gets two laps by themselves, and, you know, whoever has the fast time is starting at the front. They had posted the practice times, like, we were one of the slowest ones, man. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing personal, just gotta go get better. I, yeah, you were off the pace, for sure. It's just all weighing on me, and I just, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just unraveling at the seams here, folks. You got this, you do good every single week. I love having my brother at the races. He's my biggest fan, really. I, I think he really saw that I was down on myself. Some of the weeks, it doesn't turn out great. I felt like he was just kind of saying what everybody was thinking, like, you know, um, you know, what's what's wrong with you, man? You know, you need to get yourself together here. Alright. Alright. My guy, congrats on the new show. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, I can take you for a spin in if you want. Well, we're gonna go like 50 miles per hour or something? Double that, at least. In here. Don't want you stinking up my car. Bro, now I smell ready for anything. I'm thinking about everybody that's counting on me, my family, my team who's put so much into this, the whole OT fam. I mean, this one goes out to everybody else. I'm gonna do this for y'all.
food and be smart and have fun. The nice and smooth, good straight drive right here. You can get it right here, bring it to me. Come on hard, come hard. I come back to the pits, the time's come in, and it's official, we qualified third on the day. And I couldn't have been happier, man. Did that boost your confidence a little? Yeah, I did. I was so excited because, you know, it was such a struggle all week and all day today just to get here. Dylan's back out here again. Dylan has had the fastest car by far all year. The best revenge is gonna be winning this race, you know? I'm not here to take him out or try to return the favor. I'm just here to, you know, prove that I belong. I feel like the best way to do that is to go out there and beat him. This race gets pretty strung out. It's all about being consistent and hitting your marks lap after lap. This track is a driver's track and you've gotta be on your game if you wanna win this race. Dylan, I mean, he has set sail. He's putting like several car lengths on us. And I'm thinking in my head, like I really gotta amp up the pace here or something's gotta happen in order for me to catch him. We catch the tail end of the field. Right as the whole lead pack comes up on him, his car just goes up in smoke and I can't see anything. But the one thing I feel immediately is that there's oil on the track. I literally just like my heart stopped beating. Like I stopped breathing. I was just like so scared it was gonna hit. I was like, not again. Like we didn't overcome as much adversity as we did all week, everyone, just for our race to be ruined by our lap car. It takes a good 35 minutes to clean up all the oil. They have to stop all the cars and throw a red flag. That was some serious, serious action. People got their money's worth on that one. During that time, Thomas found out that Dylan wasn't as lucky as us, and when he hit oil, he hit the wall pretty hard. At this point, I smell blood in the water, and I know that my biggest competition is wounded. I know that if we play our cards right, we can pull out the win. Green, 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 green. I was really just waiting to be able to complete the pass on the car on my inside, but unfortunately, it just never happened. And I ended up bringing it home in fourth. A few weeks ago, we were absolutely devastated with a fourth place finish, but this week, it feels like a win. We needed that, man. We've been struggling so bad. We just needed a solid day. Yeah, I understand that. We have one race weekend left, but you know, I'm not as worried as I was. It's yeah. going on the wall. Dude, thank you, man. That's yeah, awesome. No, thank you so much. You're awesome. very welcome, man. Yeah. Be something cool to look back on one yeah. day. We really need that Old Spice sponsorship, and this is a huge step forward. We still got a ways to go. So it's November 3rd, election day. You know, we just got back from Orange. We got another race this weekend, but luckily school's lightened up a little bit and I have a little bit of downtime before this next race at Franklin. I can say without a doubt that um, <laughs> Franklin County will be voting for Donald Trump. This is actually uh, my first time, you know, voting in the presidential election. Polling stations, you know, right up the street, and you'll know, see what an election day looks like uh, during a pandemic. Yo, what's up, Larry? Just got back from voting, and I get a call from overtime, Larry. You smell ready, bro. You smell it? Um, we just locked in that Old Spice deal. Let's go, B. Getting sponsored and partnering with Overtime was just otherworldly. Go do your thing this weekend. I'll work out next steps with Old Spice. We're going to get you the jumpsuit. We're going to get your whip looking fly. Add in Old Spice to the deal and I'm like, I'm like shaking. I, I can't wrap my head around this. What do I do? 
Trump is way up in Virginia. Yeah. Which is a Democratic state. Yeah. So they must have, they must have only counted Franklin County so far. <laughs> Coming to Franklin County, things are going to be like really tense, especially with nobody knowing what direction this election is going in. It's in the back of my mind that this could be you know even more wild than the last time. That's After the first race, I thought everybody was on the same page about not going back. We were until we started running out of races. Can you imagine? A race car going onto the track with a Joe Biden sticker? Oh gosh. What would be the over under on how far into the race he would get with a, a uh, Joe Biden sticker on his race? Kind of depends on the track, you know. Franklin, you wouldn't make it to the starting line, man. You not make it to the starting line. I feel like there's just two distinct Americas at this point. When I go to Orange County or Franklin County Speedway, I feel like I'm in you know, a completely different world than when I'm at Georgia or just here in Atlanta. I'm just not sure, you know, what. What could bring people together? You know what I think could bring people together? What? Fast cars. This weekend at Franklin, it's a doubleheader weekend, which means we have a race Friday and Saturday. Friday's race is a little bit smaller than Saturday's. You ready to rock and roll? Yep. All right, well, I hate to rush you, but we practice first, and practice starts in 12 minutes. Well, so that was fun. Love to sweep the weekend. That'd be like dream come true. We'll get some good laps here, get you back into rhythm and everything. Really, the two most famous black drivers to make it at the top level of NASCAR both raced at Franklin County. Wendell Scott raced back here. Bubba Wallace got his first late model win here, and I'd love to follow in his footsteps. 15 4 on the go lap, 15 4. In order to validate the faith that Old Spice put into me, I'm gonna have to go out there and win. Next up is qualifying. 14-9 on the first lap, 14-9. 14 14-6, good lap, stay on it. Give me a little bit more. Oh yeah, I had him at 14-4. We're definitely the fastest car on the track right now. Appreciate the car, boss. It was really good. Yes, sir. Good lap. Qualifying went like textbook. It was almost like a tenth and a half faster than anything we've ever run here before, which is like exactly what we needed. Somebody said you've been flying up here. I've been flying? Flat dog flying. <laughs> I just like put my nose to the grindstone. We got some good laps. It looks like it's going to pay off. A lot of times here we do competition cautions. We're not doing that tonight. We're running straight up. When we start the race, it's going to go to completion however it works out, all right? We have the pole for this race. Third pole of the season. This is the one where we put it all together. Before we have our feature races for tonight, we're going to do a little bit of trick-or-treating. How you guys doing? Oh, he's a Power Ranger. All right, man. That's scary. Hey there, Spider-Man. How you doing? Oh, nothing much, nothing much. Just hanging out, ready to go racing. When Bubba Wallace won, him and his family have said that, you know, they were not treated well. You know, he was flipped off from the stands, booed. You know, people were shouting racial slurs at him. Nail that start. Yep. I'm not gonna let how other people feel about me determine the outcome of this race. I'm gonna give it my all, and I'm not gonna take any crap from anybody. Your heart starts pounding when it's time to go, and I mean, we've raced so many races, and so many laps and we've seen what can go wrong, but man, you're just praying what can go right that night. Come on, Hayden. I was like, okay, I'm gonna like be on it as soon as the pace car pulls off. As soon as the green flag dropped, I was gone. Green, 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 green. The pace car was in his way. I know. Uh. Go, Hayden! By the 
end of the first lap, we had already put two car lengths on the guy in front of me, and we were checking out. I hear Thomas saying, three car lengths back, five car lengths back, seven car lengths back, you got a straightaway back, and they all take each other out. Oh, whoa. Cough is out, cough is that's out. That's bush right there, that's bush. Back it down, back it down. That's the kind of stuff that usually happens, I hate it. I, I know. Oh no, that straightaway lead that I had is gone. They're gonna be right on my bumpers and I got five laps to hold them off. My guy, congrats on the sponsorship. Hey. Thanks man, you know I've been working on this for a long time. Yes you have, but now you gotta rep the brand, you know your stuff? Of course I know my stuff, hit me. Product. Old Spice, clinical sweat defense. How long does it last? 73 hours. Tagline? Smell ready for anything. You got this. Of course I got this, man. You know me. <laughs> green, 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 green. Luckily, our car's still fast and I'm gone. You know, they're really trying to catch me. They're closer than they were before and I can't slip up at this point because if I miss just one corner with this few laps left in the race, that mistake will probably lose us the race. Coming to five to go, clear by three. We've come too far. We've worked too hard. I'm thinking about everything we've done over the last 10 years. This is my last chance to really prove that I belong here and I have what it takes to make a career in this sport. I see the white flag drop. I'm like, all right, I just need 15 good seconds here and we'll win this thing. One more corner, all the way to the house, brother, all the way. Come on, baby. Come on. Clear all the way home. Good job. P1, P1. Yeah! Thank you, guys. Thank you. I was loving every minute of it. Enjoy that. They're hard to come by, I'm gonna tell you. Proud of you. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, we finally got it done. Woo, baby! Woo! Good job. Way to go! <laughs> Yeah. Will you be back tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, as good as this thing was today, I just got to thank Mike and Thomas, Tech Racing Overtime, so much. But of course, I mean, if we're that fast today, I can't wait to see how we're going to stack up against them all tomorrow. We've been wrecked. We've been spun out. We've had throttle cables break, flex plates break. You know, it all came together today. And I was just, oh my gosh, I, I was so happy to see it all come together, man. We got time. Let's get one with everybody. Get everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, get one with us. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Tracy. Go, on. Tracy. Yeah, get it. Y'all do yeah, this. Yeah, no, Tracy. All right. All the highs, all the lows, all the lost hours of sleep when everybody's part, all the all the money we've been, everybody's been sinking into this thing. I feel like, you know, winning today, you know, um, it, it made it all worth it. It was a lot of fun to watch, man. It was a lot yeah, of fun to watch. Go. Winning lets everybody know what I want them to know. It lets them know I'm here. Not only I'm here, but I'm succeeding. What are we going to do to celebrate? I think we need to take the whole crew to Waffle House. Okay. People that don't like to see that, you know, they can deal with it. <laughs> I'm not here to you know, make everybody happy. You know what I mean? I, I said at the beginning of the year, you know, I'm not here to win people over. You know, I'm just here to win. Nothing's changed. Felt like we proved we were meant to be here yesterday, but today is so much of a bigger deal. For today, we just got our one session. It's practice, qualifying, everything all in one, and then we'll go right to racing. We don't have time to like dilly-dally around and try and find speed. Fortunately for us, we had an awesome practice last night in the form of winning a race. Nice and smooth, let it warm up for about two laps here, and then I want you to get on it, I'll tell you. 15.5 on the go lap, 15.5. Start trying to get up to speed, but there are so many slower cars on this track. These guys just will not get out the way. 15.00. All right, hold on, we gotta step behind you. Back it down, back it down. I feel like they're blocking me. That's all of it. All right, bring it to us here. I still don't know what happened in qualifying. It felt like every single lap I had to dodge a car that was coming off the track. 
it was just a mess and we never got a full lap. So I have no idea where that's gonna put us in the race. Apparently there's gonna be an invert. They're gonna do an invert, which means they're gonna randomly draw a number so that the top five cars all switch spots to make the race a little bit more interesting. Uh -huh. Hey. So on the invert, you're on the pole. Yes, sir. All right. This is like the first time in my whole racing career that the invert has actually worked to my favor. All right, we're starting first. <laughs> you finally won! The other drivers, I don't think they were all too happy about it. It doesn't matter because I have a fast car and now I just have to drive away from all of them. You know, Hayden is super, super fast, but those other five, six drivers out there are veterans. You're dealing with full grown men here. You look at these guys in the pits before the race and they got a pack of Marlboros in the pocket of their shirt. They're holding their kids in diapers and their wives are all sitting there and you know they got a six pack of Budweiser in the trailer for after the race. I didn't know what to do, uh, you did last night, you can do it again. Thirty laps, nice and smooth, get them all, you know, you got to go get it, bud. There's been guys that have been racing here for about a decade. I mean, they've got all the track championships, the wins and stuff. And I feel like coming out here and beating all of them really sticks it to them. Well, I guess this is a showdown, honey. You know the way it's... Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you, everybody, for all the hard work. Time for me and Hayden to go to work here. Outside 02, 12 out back. All we do is get high. This is it, it's go time. Hold it, roll, drink it, green, green, green. I throw it into fourth, but unfortunately I didn't do it fast enough. Right off the bat, I'm back to third and I don't want to lose any more spots. Still clear by eight, just good straight drive, be smooth on it. Go with them, go with them. I'm gaining on the second car. I'm slowly but surely making progress on his lead on me. I know these guys aren't that much faster than me. If I make my moves at the right time, I'll be able to catch them really quickly. Get him, buddy, come on. Now I'm in second, I've got my eyes on the lead here. Coming to halfway, this is halfway at the line right here. Good job, stay on it. I see my opportunity coming out of turn two and I take it. Get there, come on! I completed the pass and I'm setting sail. Stay with the Hayden! Nice and smooth, toss us out, toss us out, toss us out. All right, wave them off. Toss us out. They decided to throw the competition caution. Was that competition caution? Yeah. Come on. Really? A competition caution is when they wave the yellow flag to bunch the field back up if the race gets too strong out. Wow, haters about to drive away with this thing. I'm not sure if they planned to throw the caution intentionally because I was leading the race, but it doesn't matter because I have these guys right on my tail now and I'm gonna have to be on my stuff. They know what Hayden's got and they're gonna take a shot on him right now. They're not gonna let him get away again. Green, 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 green. You got this, bro. Go get him, come on. Now I'm right back where I was at the start of this race with two cars in front of me and about 15 laps to pick them off. Stay on it, don't give up. Still inside. Time's running out. We only have 15 laps left and I need to make my move now. Ah. Before I knew I was spinning out. Guy, congrats on the sponsorship. Hey, thanks, man. You know I've been working on this for a long time. Yes, you have. But now you gotta rep the brand. You know your stuff? Of course I know my stuff. Hit me. Product. Old Spice Clinical Sweat Defense. How long does it last? 73 hours. Tagline? Smell ready for anything. You got this. Of course I got this, man. You know me. <laughs> we spun out. We didn't hit anything. There's no damage to the car. But at the same time, I'm now in last place with about 10 laps to go. <sighs> Roll it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. You know, we're in the worst situation possible right now. I've never quit and I'm not gonna start now. Five laps to go, a lot can happen. As we're coming
coming around to complete the first lap after that restart, I just see smoke and it all hit the fan in a heartbeat. Record in front of me, back to down, back to down, back to down, back to down, go high, 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 middle, 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 good job. Holy cow, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. After that, we had another restart. I knew that was gonna happen. I think we were the only car in this race to get through that wreck without any damage. Whole front of the pack just wrecked themselves into the wall. Three cars into the wall and Hayden got through it. Hayden always gets through wrecks like that. Like a cat. It's been a heck of a race, man. You know, when the dust settled, we were starting third on this restart. Five laps to go, it's gonna be a shootout. There's a few cars that made it through, but we've been faster than them all weekend and I should have no problem picking them off for this win. Green, 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 green. Two cars in front of me, I got three laps to pass them. This is gonna be a shootout and I'm gonna to have to make every second count. We're right back where we started, we're in first. All I have to do here, get a clean shift, get a good launch, and drive away from these guys. Man, racing is way more stressful than football. <laughs> way more stressful, not even close. Green, 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 green. Go to the checker, Hayden! Clear, straight drive, all the way home. Come on! Yeah. I'm just screaming. All the way home. All the way yes. home. Yes! Oh, God, thank you, God! <laughs> Thank you for one more lap if you'd like to. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't think anybody really wanted us to win that race. Good job, brother. Like I said, enjoy that one. You just beat some of the best in the Charger field here. Good job. And we come up here to Virginia and show them how it's done. Hell yeah! I mean, there was not a person there that walked into Franklin County Speedway hoping that Hayden Swank would pull out the win. <laughs> I don't care because I've got everybody here that has supported me all this way and that's what matters. Doing right by the people that do right by me. Let's go see how this shit's going to Oh, it's going to be I'm going to tell you now. Why? Wow. I mean, yeah, it's going to be You'll see. Then there was an issue. We have passed tech so far, but a lot of the other competitors aren't satisfied with that. They think we're cheating. So they're gonna have Mike and Thomas tear it down some more and see if there's something wrong with whatever they're doing. I mean, my right. You don't think it's like, oh, we're illegal, it's more, they're just being. You know, we were following the rules, but you know, right now we don't have the win yet. They haven't taken away from us, but they haven't given it to us either. What's the deal? Y'all want the shot? Yeah. All right. Why? I mean, that's serious stuff right there. They can just take your shots? Yeah, that's a weird Frank. Wait, it's what? a it's a Franklin County rule. They just made it up. What the hell is going on? You just stole a race from the only black kid at this track. No, that's, that's dead serious where we're going. Dad, no, 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 dad, dad. Hey, man, you know what y'all should have done? You should have claimed the driver. That's your problem. Dad, yeah. dad, dad That's what you should have claimed was the driver. Dude, I have what? had Because no he wasn't the damn shocks. It was the driver. Oh, dad, shut up. Dad, dad, you stop. Me, stop. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, y'all need to calm down. Hey, stop. I mean, Dad, huh? stop, Fine. stop. But you stop, you stop. I'm trying I'm, to keep I'm, my win here, dude. Even when we win, we can't win. God. I'm just ready to get out of Franklin County Speedway. Yeah. I don't trust these folks. He's already won the race. They passed through tech, so all of their equipment was legal. It's just the hometown racers are trying to use this claim rule to grab his shocks for $400, but they're, they're several thousand dollar shocks. And, um, you know, right now, they're still going back and forth with the other driver, with the owner of the track, and with Thomas, and it's still not resolved. Put the summons back together and put it in the seat. These your shocks? They're mine. Wait, so, did we, it doesn't sand? Officially, we're done, yeah, we're good. We're, we're good. We're yeah, good. we win. But long story short, I mean, they claimed our shocks. Guy let me buy it back. We're going home with the win, our shocks, and the trophy. So that's all that matters. Appreciate it. Thank you.
after the race, there's a package at my door and it says it's from Old Spice. Ah, oh, that is hot. Instead, I saw it. I was thinking in the back of my head, like, all right, I gotta call Larry. Hey, my boy, what's going on? Hey, shout out to Old Spice, man. Hey, speaking about Old Spice, you're gonna need to throw on some Old Spice when you're in that car. I know it gets a little toasty up in there. With everything that happened after the race with the claim on the shocks, that just kind of brought everybody down. This uniform, it really makes me feel like I've made it. You know, just having the Old Spice uniform, having the OT Racing logo, it really makes me feel like I've made my mark on racing and you know, I have a place in this sport now. We're halfway there, so next steps, we're gonna get that whip on deck, all right? Racing is a dangerous sport, dangerous sport. That death factor has got to be in that man's head. 50 laps. Everybody wants to win, but we also want to go home in one piece. We've been through so many battles, so many incidents. This car really wasn't what it was just a few months ago. Putting a lot of wheel in it, not getting a whole lot of turns. Play all around. Yeah, Hayden is really, really slow. I mean, he's by far the slowest car on the track. Going out there was by far the worst Hindley car I've had in a all season. Oh well, you'll figure it out in the race. You know, we've been on the road for about eight weeks now, uh, have not had a break in forever. Roll with him. This might be the last race with COVID cases spiking. I want to make the most of it. Green, 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 green. When you're in a race with 20 cars, you're in the back, you're racing with knuckleheads. This car has seen war this season. Get that going! Oh man. Spins him out and turns one and two. Clear all around. Clear all around. the theme of this race. We just kept dodging the wrecks. We brought it home inside the top 10. Uh, you know, we didn't have a whole lot going in today, but we made the most out of it for sure. Good job, good job. Another 50 laps down. Good race. We'll take it. This car's really shown its age, and I think it's really taken a toll on our performance this week. Good job though, man. I know you're not excited about it, but you went from 17th to 10th, top 10 finish. Sucks! <laughs> I'm not super worried about it. Tomorrow, we're meeting up with Larry to check out the new Old Spice car, and I couldn't be more excited. You know, I pull up to the track, Larry's already here. We're both about to see the car for the first time, and I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like. Yo, hey, this way! Larry! What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Today's the day. It was great to finally meet the guy. I mean, I've been talking to him, watching the videos for years. You ready? Bro, I am so ready for this thing. I think meeting him and watching everything come together, that was a really special moment. I can't even believe this is happening right now. Well, believe it, because you deserve it. OT got your back, Old Spice got your back. I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like. Three, two, one. Let's go! Man, like, I thought the OT car was cool, but this, this is taking things to another level. Yo! Oh my gosh. What you thinking, man? Overtime, Old Spice. Got your number on top. Yeah, I got the name on the door. See the boat. See the boat, most important. <laughs> Running on a dream? That's what everybody's gonna be looking when they're behind you. It's insane, man. I mean, this is my dream. You know what's next? What's next? You gotta give it a spin. Now I'm gonna hop in this bad boy, see how it drives. Why don't you ride with me? There's a room in there, come on. It'll be fun. Yo, it's gonna be Larry's first time at the racetrack. Uh, he doesn't even have his driver's license yet. No, no, I'm dead serious, man, get in the car. Right now? Right now, let's do it. How do I get in? There's only one way to get in. I gotta get in like through there? No, you got your own window, man. Come on. All right. I mean, I think it'll be a good time. <laughs> you got it? Oh. 
Hey, I trust you. I think we're ready to go, man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Man, it's on another level. Yes. Hold on, man! Hold on, hold on. I cannot wait to get this thing out here for a race. Don't try this at home! Smoking right now. You see Hayden's new car? Fire, I know. Overtime and Old Spice collab? Wow. Jordan is mean. But it needs one thing, one special touch. Now you're ready for greatness, my boy. I'm just so grateful for the journey, the support I've had from everybody at Old Spice, everybody at Overtime that's helped put this together. Whew. You got your Old Spice OT car. It was a time when you weren't even sponsored. Yeah, man, I mean, we've come a long ways in like, not a lot of time. I mean, it's, it's crazy how quickly everything's come together. You know, just looking back on where I was not even half a year ago, this is where it all started. Sorry to hear that we're not gonna make something happen today. It's just, it's just so hard to imagine how so much has changed in so little time. All my money for racing came from cutting grass. During the summer, I was 24 seven. I'd say at this point last year, I really wasn't sure if I had a future in racing or if I was gonna make it. I was at my lowest point. I didn't know if I could even do this anymore. But now, I feel like I have a place in this sport. Having the OT sponsorship, having fast race cars. Look at the speed on that car! Getting those wins, having a team to support me. It really just gave me the confidence to go out there and drive the wheels off this thing. I know there's a bunch of Confederate flags in some of the racetracks that you go to. It must be scary sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it definitely throws you out of your element. I know, like, especially my mom. I don't want to discourage him because, you know, this is what he loves to do. Sometimes people like you know don't do you right. We have passed tech so far, but a lot of the other competitors think we're cheating. That'll make it harder. It'll kind of discourage you. But I've made some friends in this sport. You know, people out here that you know want to see me succeed and support me. You know, having those people around you. You know, even if you're even if you're not on the same team, you know, it helps. So what does the future hold for Hayden Swank? I'm driving race cars, I know that much. Where you're gonna see me next, how you're gonna see me next, I, I can't say I know right now, but I think something's gonna happen sooner than later. Keep doing it, man, I'm gonna keep following up. Yeah, dude, we're not maybe, going anywhere. Maybe next time I could take it for a spin. Uh, <laughs> let's get the driver's license first. There's still a lot of work to do, but I think we put together an incredible resume. Let's get it. Boy, you're really driving that thing. It hasn't just been me sacrificing, it's been my family. It meant the world to them. It wasn't all for naught, and something came of it. Turn me up, yeah! That boy going crazy! All the way home. All the way yes! home. Yes! Oh my God, thank you guys! <laughs> This dream it wasn't just a dream, you know, it was an actual goal and you know, we got there. Ready to go! Yes! Yes, let's go! We made it happen.